uh, whether you are any fixing any length of that puncture no sir you must... see i will show you sir sir there is a guarded thing sir see that beyond that you can't go sir are you able to see that sir sir so all motor punches whether it is 1 mm 2 mm 3 mm 4 mm 5 mm sir. everything can, comes with that guard sir this one punch is around 8000 rupees sir this is very nice this will go for around maybe 10 50 in uh, surgeries sir right so beyond that you can't go sir, sir. this is the length which is to be go up, which is to be used you see once you use that sir. just put it inside just go to that level remove it remove it remove it remove it right so but what about the size of adjustability some people will have a thick skin then sir it will go sir any thick skin it will go don't worry no sir i want to know that like whether we are sometimes whether we damage the hair bulb or like that no sir no that's why i'm telling you sir you are going parallel to the hair root you are sir. not going to damage anything sir. you go perpendicular you are definitely going to damage sir right sir yes, sir ah acha one more thing regarding calculation of the graft sir how do you calculate like how much to be grafted to it is how much area like sir, actually, the graft you see sir uh only the temporal area what i normally tell is 35 grafts one side 35 grafts one side 35 70 grafts if at all it's a punch grafting if you have a hair line sir some people don't have a hair line in the front sir. you don't have a hair line go in for a single hair graft that will have in and around 250 grafts or for a single line it will go for 250 grafts 250 grafts 250 grafts sir. i told you this one which contains 1 mm sorry single hair uh, needle sir you take 250 grafts you can create a big line there right they said just take catch it like that go inside and implant it right so this will be very very easy sir don't think about strip grafting don't think about other things this will be very easy and the trauma is very very minimal right previously what i used to do sir uh, the single hair for the whole i used to do with the 18 gauge needle now there is no need for that it's simple like that that 1 mm punch will do everything this is not 1 mm as such it's 0.5 right goes inside finished so if one can rim uh, do a donor harvesting one can Im- immediately go in for recipient harvesting also finished only thing medical treat is treatment is more important sir this is a singular needle previously which we used to use then go in for a turban dressing hmm turban dressing is again so easy yes so what about dressing sir sir dressing regarding post harvesting dressing ye uh, baby any anti this what i am using is just sofa tool sir 10 days i don't ask the patient to remove the dressing sir if it is for 10 days it's good the results are so good so 10 days antibiotic dressing is enough sir yes sir after that the 11th day he can take a wash he can be happy i'll tell you how to go in for that uh, dressing the so dressing is one part hair transplantation we have to be careful sir now we have just done around only 3 grafts right when we do a full blown graft the dressing is the most important part see i'm just how i'm doing it hello yeah till what age you can do that uh, hair transplantation sir 45 sir is there any contraindication to use that Be- below 45 or above 45 sir hi sir sir below what your contraindication in what sense i am not able to understand you no uh. the age limit can be a contraindication no sir actually above 45 
the results are not good sir here if at all you go in for a graph we get in and around maybe 80 to 90 percentage sir you transplant 1000 hair roots 100 hair roots fail 900 hair roots grow that's because of our doctors error because we do a fast surgery we can just promise that we have not cut a root 10 percentage failure below 45 above 45 the failure rate is 50 maybe because of the blood supply to that area sir and above 45 normally what i advise everything is over what are you going to get out of this one when nothing is going to stand up i thought about 65 only <laughs> above only 65 sir but won't it give a ugly look for some time when he is in bed after this transplantation sir as if head injury head injury surgery that he has undergone it looks like that no sir it's not a head injury sir we are we are doing a reconstructive surgery sir normally i advise nothing above 45 sir practical experience sir whatever i am telling is my practical experience I should have completed in under 3,000 heads, sir. And uh, what I have seen, what I have noticed, I am telling you, sir. Above 45, I did for maybe 10, 15 cases, where the results are only 50 to 60 percentage. Again, the patient comes and asks, Acha, you, I have paid you 40,000 rupees, what to do? The fellow, before surgery, would have compelled you. Sir, I want, it, I want to do it. I have to do it. But after doing the surgery, the fellow will turn his face. He will become red and hot. That will become a problem, sir. This is a branch where we have to be happy and we have to be pleasant. We are not going on uh, answering things to the patient. It's a, a big problem. Right, sir? Okay, so, Dr. No. Reddy Laboratories, yeah. they have given an advertisement uh, in the wall post like that. 24 types of baldness, sir. Uh, to whichever you can do, you do it or uh, there are some specifications for that? No specification, sir. No specification, sir. You see, sir, alopecia areata, more than three years, not responding to any therapy, you can go in for hair transplantation, one. This has been proved in Japan. Two, androgenetic alopecia of any category below 45 years is advised. Scarring alopecia, due to any other disorder, either, either trauma, fire accident, anything, you can go in for a graft, that too below 45 years. The only thing, in all your uh, fire accident or scarring alopecia, don't go in for single air graft because of the fibrosis. Go in for punch grafting. What I do, sir, as a, uh, as a uh, practitioner, I am doing 5mm grafts, 5mm punch grafts for all scarring alopecia, which gives tremendous results. For a lady yeah. who has got uh, the, uh, uh, what is called a dissident, that is uh, distant, distant, distant alopecia, yeah. can it be done? If it is androgenetic, definitely it can be done, sir. Now it's being proved that 30 percentage of ladies also suffer from androgenetic alopecia. You can definitely go in for that. Why segregate ladies and gents, sir? Everybody is same. The only thing, if it is not androgenetic alopecia, if it is going to be something associated with thyroid or something, you correct that thyroid and go in for a transplantation. Nothing happens in a lady, the results are so good because the patient is a real patient. A lady, normally in a cosmetic procedure, they are very good patients for us. The results will be very good, sir. Last time when I did a case here, I did a hair transplantation for a lady only, sir. So one more thing, like what you told, like up to the age of 45 years. Yeah. But uh, suppose if the donor area is uh, with a lot of hairs, yeah. so why can't we uh, do after the age of 45 years? No sir, sir, till 50 no problem sir. Why I am telling it to be 45, sir. the age which more needs one. Two, if at all the results are not good, sir. again we should not go into problems. That is the only sign, sign sir. So but, Otherwise, but good says that it can go up to 50. Sir, but the thing is that like follicular unit extraction, what you are doing for the single hair follicle yeah. is this thing. Yeah. So it's hardly like 10 to 15 percent failure rate is there with that. Yes. So 80 to 85 percent graphs will take off. Yes. So I think like age is not a absolute bar for this thing. Not an absolute bar, sir. Otherwise you have to do one thing. You have to tell the patient that the failure rate will be a little bit high sir. than a person who is below 50. Sir. 
But what about second session? If the failure rate is there, we